So this was our um, accommodation for the last night. Um, today we're starting the third day in the Camino. There's about 12 people sleeping here. There was not, not a single bed empty. Um, actually some people I saw were sleeping on the floor by the entrance and um, we're gonna go to Mass um, to Church St. Mary Real Collegiate de Santa Maria because today is Sunday and um, everybody has already left they started early on their hike. We we're going to church first at 8.30, so we had to wait. And it's a beautiful morning today. Ah, the birds are singing. Seems like it may not be raining today. There's a Casa Sabina bar and restaurant. And I'm gonna be looking for a church. I think Alice where we found the church. There's the hotel next to our albergue. Yesterday we had uh, dinner in the... Really of me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bon Camino. Bon Camino. <laughs> at 8.30 everybody left Camino is that the scenery changes like every minute it's just unbelievable and um, we have this these old trees and we're just walking on this beautiful pathway Yesterday, oh, I was in so much pain. I like half a kilometer before we reached our destination. I fell. I slipped on a slippery rock. It was raining, so every rock was slippery. But that was a big rock, and I fell on my um, left hip and my butt. And when Camina, when Camina, and. Um, couldn't get up because the backpack is so heavy so Alice thankfully saw me and she came and she with great difficulty actually lifted me up and um, I'm fine I don't have any bruises nothing hurts me except when I went to the restaurant they ser they served a bottle of wine with the dinner it was delicious wine actually one of the best I ever had and guess what we drank the whole bottle because I was so afraid I, I was gonna be hurting at night so I had like three wine cups of wine which made me a little bit dizzy then we went to our albergue and we had three showers for about 30 people so I didn't get to shower at night I got up like at 2 30 a.m. and had my shower and um, now we're walking again and I'm like full of energy and the coming is just so diverse there's so many different um, trees and scenery and the spirit is just awesome you know these people passing by and they are smiling and there's this feeling of togetherness and common purpose and <laughs> the pilgrims that were leaving this morning they say okay see you uh, in on the next stop and now uh, we're all gonna get there they will be there ahead of us but uh, we're all gonna get there we're like a few minutes into our walk and the scenery has changed already. We have these huge beautiful ferns and we're walking in this green greenery. 
The ferns are so tall. They are taller than myself. But it's not raining, so I'm so happy. Yesterday, um, the rain started kind of heavy at the end of our hike. The last three kilometers, even if it's only three kilometers, were actually the hardest, I think, because I was so tired. My legs were hurting, and um, I was just exhausted. But after the wine, there's the cross. After the wine, the pain went away, and and my legs didn't hurt anymore. So we're we're walking about three kilometers to get to that place where we can have actually breakfast. So this place is where witchcraft was done in the Middle Ages, and the priests. No, which is what? Look, the meaning Oakwood of Witches is where some of the most well known witches' covens were held. In know. the 16th century. So the priest erected this white cross. This is the cross. The priest erected. I read it in my guide. Uh, and so this uh, was to serve as a protection against the uh, witches' spells. You know, which spells are very real, they do exist and they do harm people, so this cross is to protect us in this area against any spells. So praise be to God. We walked three kilometers and we're in Brigitte. Suddenly there is like tons of pilgrims everywhere. And uh, coming, most of them speaking French, uh, Spanish. And here's a piano that bears the signature of Ernest Hemingway. So that's a significant spot here. A lot of pilgrims. And we're just walking on the wrong, wrong, wrong side of the road. I should be on the left side, according to the rules here, so I'm crossing, and that's a beautiful little town. Suddenly, all these pilgrims are arriving. I don't know where they are coming from, but there is dozens and dozens of them and compared to yesterday where we walked pretty much by ourselves that's a change but that's what happens on Camino <coughs> change is a constant here change all the time so it was nice to walk alone and it's nice to have all these people walking as well. Everybody is so friendly. <coughs> We're moving from the little village onto a different path now. And uh, this is a new forestry little river. And uh, we're gonna be walking through the woods pretty soon, according to my guide. Here's our marker, yellow arrow. That's how we know where to go. We have a beautiful sunny day today. Today is Sunday, and um, sometimes we have cross. We have to cross strange-looking bridges. With my height and anxiety, this bridge is not very reassuring. Well, I'm gonna have to cross it if I want to continue. I don't think walking through the water would be 
very good. Look at all those bat balls here. I don't know if you can see them. Lots of tiny bat balls. Yeah. In the water. Okay. And then I have to go on that bridge. Here's a road sign. We're heading toward Pampalona. So I don't know how the Camino is going now. Our road got, got us to this intersection. And we have to find out where are the shells marking our way. See a shell right here. It's a shell. I guess we're going to the right. How far are we? is now turning into narrow steep path and it's interesting because today is Sunday August 21st and the reading the gospel reading today was that Jesus says to his disciples that to get to heaven they need to walk on a narrow road narrow path and um, steep I always thought about it a steep path so now we're entering narrow steep path and we're walking on it I have to walk slowly it's exhausting with some steeper inclines than this one before just before but it's a narrow road so very symbolic of today's reading and we're still in Pyrenees, beautiful Pyrenees, a lot of pilgrims passing by, we're trying to get away from one big group that is kind of noisy and so we have to keep certain pace to be ahead of them. They took us over at one point and then we were able to get ahead of them. And now we're kind of careful not to slow down too much. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's not too hot. And the path changes constantly. I mean, there's not five minutes in the same environment. I can show you maybe 10% of it or 1% of what's going on. But the variety of trees and vegetation is just astounding and we have beautiful sunny day unlike yesterday where we didn't see much sunshine mostly it was either drizzle or rain or it stopped for a little bit then started again and intensified in the afternoon early evening but today it's just a beautiful day and our path is easing up a little bit. Our guide is telling us that at the end we're gonna have a steep descent, which is really hard for my hurting legs because my legs do hurt a little bit by now. It's only second day of walking. I'm not used to this kind of intense walking. Look at this moss. Just we're hidden in the woods. Now other pilgrims we passed some of them. Now we walk along alone again. Which is very comforting because I'm mostly praying rosary as I walk. 
Here's another memorial to a pilgrim who died on the pilgrimage. We've already like passed three of them. And um, just some people die. It's not an easy road. They made like a little stack of wood. There's a notice not to leave stone, so people started leaving uh, just sticks. And we're catching up with some pilgrims here. I guess we're not the last anymore. Well, today in the gospel it says the last will be the first and the first will be the last. So here we go. We're taking over some groups of pilgrims. They're just resting here in the shade. Must be Americans. <laughs> Buen camino! Buen camino! <laughs> well, that's one way to deal with the backpack problem. So, this is Zobiri. That's where we're heading. I'm so tired. My feet hurt uh, so much. Thankfully my knee doesn't hurt. It's just my feet and my legs. My toes because going down that hurts my toes. Like heck. Oh, my knee hurts. It's a beauty. Exhausting walk, even though it wasn't long. It was just up and down, up and down. Yesterday we walked from elevation of 170 meters to 1,450, and today um, I'm not sure what our starting elevation was, but our highest was like 955 or something like that. Then we went down. And this is our destination. This is the bridge in Zubiri. Tonight we have much nicer alberghe. Um, it's sixteen dollars, not eight, so twice the price. But gosh, this is so much nicer, and uh, there's uh, enough showers and toilets, and um, there's ventilation. So I'm so happy. It's full. They don't have any more empty spaces. I think another alberghe was already filled when we came.